In this video, you will learn how to make a Google Meet recording and what you need to know when doing so. How to record. The first step when you want to record is to ask the participants, inform them that you will be starting a recording. I'm going to go ahead and do so, as a matter of fact, over here, recording. It's going to take a couple of seconds. And here it always asks you, make sure that everyone is ready and that the participants consent to the recording. Once that is the case, you can click on start. I'll take a couple of seconds. You'll hear a sound noise. There you go, informing you that the recording has started. And you also see on the top left that record button. And anyone who enters the call will also be advised that there is a recording in session. And let's say you've presented what you needed to present and you want to stop the recording. You can simply click here on stop recording like so. Stop recording. And the recording has been stopped and will be sent to who that you'll see in the proceeding of this video. What will be recorded and what not? The recording will include the active speaker and anything that is presented, be it through sharing a tab, window, or the entire screen. For the duration of the recording, a chat conversation log is saved, as you can see in this example. If live captions are enabled during the call, these will not be recorded, nor will any participants that were pinned be recorded unless they're the active speaker. Constraints for recordings. Your Google Workspace administrator needs to enable the recording of Google Meet calls. And if you yourself want to start such a recording, then you either have to be the meeting organizer or in the same organization as the meeting organizer. If the meeting organizer has activated the host management, then you will only be able to start the recording if you have been appointed a co-host for that meeting. And last thing to keep in mind, recording of Google Meet calls is only available on the computer version of the app. How to watch recording. Now, once you've stopped recording in your meeting, it might take a couple of minutes or maybe a little bit longer until you get the recording, until it is finalized, the processing of this recording. When that is the case, you will find the recording in your My Drive under Meet Recordings. And the person who is the organizer of the meeting, as well as the person who clicked on start recording, will also receive an email with the recording, just like you can see on the screen now. To watch the recording, you can head over into Google Drive. You could watch it like so from here, but if you want the best experience, then go ahead and download that specific recording and you will be able to watch it in better quality how to share recording. If the meeting took place during the scheduled meeting time, in that case, the recording will be added to the calendar invite, as we can see here. And Adam, being part of the same organization as Jane, automatically has access to this recording. But you can also go ahead and add people here by just sharing the document with them. As you can see, Adam was automatically added because he was a participant in that meeting. But you could go ahead and add any person or group here. Or what you also could do is take this recording and move it to a shared drive where the team members or just a broader audience have access to. Don't miss out on next week's video tutorial. It's all about how you can use a Google Form, Google Sheets, and a little bit of Google Apps Script to automatically add people to a Google Calendar invite. So go ahead, click the subscribe button, and don't miss out.